Texas Raiders now with Warren Sapp. And figuring that they're, uh, you know, only a year away removed from a Super Bowl appearance. But the Steelers are going to run the ball more in the first drive of the game. It was Deuce, Deuce Staley. They said that he would carry the load, and he did. Third and goal, the bus. <laughs> Touchdown. A one-yard run. 7 nothing. Pittsburgh, an impressive opening drive. They had the ball for the first eight minutes of the game. Then, Rich Gannon. He did it. And Aaron Smith. Picks it up, rumbling, bumbling, stumbling, inside the 30. Oh, he's down, and it's a 49-yard return. Leads to another touchdown by Bettis, 14-0 Steelers. But then Gannon, pump fakes, and Doug Gabriel blowing his horn, blowing. Boy, the Steelers still have trouble at the DB, don't yes, they? 14-7, yes. Tom, at the half Pittsburgh. 21-13, fourth, fourth and 12 Raiders. Gannon firing. To Elvis with it. Norb wants to go up long. Looks like stable at a branch. Well, the exact same play, the pump outside, great concentration by Witted at the back of the end zone to get his feet down. The Raiders were threatening to win the game. And they gotta go for two, and Witted catches it. We're tied at 21. Now Pittsburgh, two minutes to go. Heinz Ward had a big day. Tommy Maddox finds him right there. Ward catching seven for 99. That sets up. From 42 yards, Jeff Reed. Hey, good. It's good. And so the Steelers blow a two touchdown lead, but at home, boy, bringing back memories of what that great robbery was in the 70s as the Steelers beat the 24 21. Rich Gannon threw for 305. Deuce Staley, 24 carries, 91. But I want you to hear the bet. Look at the bottom right of your screen. Jerome Bettis, five carries, one yard. Three touchdowns. I, Tom, I've watched, I don't a, know. Lot, I don't I've watched know. a lot of football. I don't know. Yeah. Have I you ever know. seen that? I don't know. Yeah. More touchdowns than yards. I don't know. So we average 